back to a brand new video. Tonight we are going to be unboxing the Queen of Hearts at the Mad Tea Party attraction. So, so cool. As you can see, she's a deluxe pop. She's also a Target exclusive celebrating 50 years of Walt Disney World. Also, shout out to Paris. Paris is celebrating 30 years. You guys, I can't. Disney just did, what, 65 years? They're about to go into 70 years zone. And then we got this going on with 50 for them and then 30 going on for Paris. It's just, it's a lot. 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 All right, let's take a look at the back of this box before we open Miss Thang, the Queen of Hearts. Up. All right, on the back of this box, you can see that there's just the Queen of Hearts and that really cool translucent, very Xenon, give me vibes, uh, 50th of the castle. So, so cool. Now, I will say that the only two that I don't have yet of this collection is Mickey with the Walt Disney World castle. Yes, I did pre-order him, so he should be coming at some point. And the dog from Pride of the Caribbean with the keys in his mouth. I didn't really want that one, so I did not pre-order that one. Um, this one, I think, cost me about 30 dollars at Target. I think that was the price range. I did see some on eBay that were going for about 35 to $40, so not too bad yet on eBay. I wanted to get the Cheshire Cat one, but girl, he's six to $800. It ain't gonna happen. He's the only one in the collection I'm missing, and I'm not gonna get him because it's just not gonna happen with this. Y'all must be out of your marbles. He must be out of your mind, girl, okay? The lights are on, but nobody's home, girl. Without further ado, let's get into this. The Queen of Hearts from Disney's Alice in Wonderland. I'm not a singer. I never said I was. All right, guys, here she is out of her box looking absolutely regal. We have the Queen of Hearts from Disney's Alice in Wonderland. She looks so, so dope. I am so excited to add her to my teacup collection. I just think she looks absolutely stunning. I mean, just look at her. She looks gorgeous. I love the color of this cup. Like, I love Cheshire Cat. I do love Cheshire. But if I have to be without him, so be it. It makes me sad too because he's actually one of my favorite colors. He's actually like yellow. And I, yellow, he's in a yellow teacup. And I love yellow. It's one of my favorite colors. I mean, I love all the colors of the spectrum. Let's be real. I love browns, golds, greens, silvers, pinks, blues, all of it. I'm a huge fan. Like, I'm a huge, I just love colors. I've always loved colors since I was a kid. But it makes me sad that Cheshire is one of my favorite characters and he's in a yellow teacup, but he's going for hundreds and hundreds of duelists. I'm not going to pay hundreds of duelists for him. It's just, it's just not going to happen. I love you, Cheshire, but I'm going to love you from a fog girl. I have a few other Cheshire cats that are pretty awesome and they also are exclusives. So it's fine. I can live without him. I have the three. I have the three good characters. You know what I'm saying? I got the queen. I got Alice. I got Kata. I got some good ones. And there's a chance that there might be some more. I kind of hope they're done with this set, though, because I think four is like just the right number for these ones. I don't think we need more than four of the cast in the teacups. I mean, Tweedledee and Tweedledum in the same teacup would be cute. I just feel like the characters they chose being the Queen, Treasure, Nat Hatter, and Alice are like the most popular characters anyway. You really wouldn't need to do any more from this line than the ones you've already done. And she looks adorable. Do you know who I did think could be in the teacups? Just hear me out here. Sora, Donald, and Goofy from Kingdom Hearts 3. Y'all know they were in Kingdom Hearts 3 and you could also do the, the like teacup spin. What's interesting though about her teacup is that the white part here is not painted. This was supposed to be white, I believe, because the other two I have are painted white. This one is not, it's all pinkish. So it's kind of weird, like this, 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 where my thumb is here, should be white, but it's not. So I'm wondering if they, that was a mistake or something, but yeah, I noticed that hers is the only teacup that is not white on that part of the teacup. Everything else is just completely perfect. She looks so, so cute. I like her crown, everything about her, just adorable. This new Alice uh, set that came out too, pretty awesome. I keep debating if I want Tweedledee and Tweedledum, but I probably will end up getting them. All right, and here's the queen doing her famous spin. Got a beautiful side profile. I love the queen of hearts. She's one of my favorite of the, the queen villains. Bas well, the villains, I should say. Queen villains, there's not very many queen villains that was there. But I really do like her. I feel like she's kind of an underrated villain. Um, She's got such a, char a character, and I believe she's played by Verna Felton, who also did, um, I believe, Aunt Millicent from Lady and the Tramp. And then also, I believe she did the fairy godmother in Cinderella. So she's been in a few different Disney films, and she's done a few different voices from here and there. I believe she also did uh, Flora um, in, in Sleeping Beauty as well. So she's played a few of the happy-go-lucky good characters. And she's played two of the most iconic Disney fairies in Flora from Sleeping Beauty and the fairy godmother from Cinderella. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure I am right. Also, the actress who plays Meriwether in Sleeping Beauty actually does the voice for Lady in Lady and the Tramp too. Like, I just... I know a lot about Disney. I'm a huge fan of Disney. Catherine, Catherine Beaumont, who plays Alice, 
um, in Alice in Wonderland also plays Wendy in Peter Pan as well. And yes, that is Catherine Beaumont's voice still on the Alice in Wonderland attraction in Disneyland. She actually recorded that, I think, in the last 10, 15-ish years, and she still sounds like pretty much the exact same. She's also Kyrie's grandmother in the Kingdom Hearts series. So yeah, there's been a lot of really cool stuff that's like, and I, I'm just, I'm a huge fan of Disney. I consider myself an unofficial official Disney historian, you guys. So there's that, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of myself, yeah. But anyway, I'm a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland. It was one of my favorite films as a kid. My mom like did not like that movie. She was like, I don't, it's weird. But I loved it. My dad and I loved it. I feel, I feel like this, this Disney movie, out of all of them kind of got me and my dad a little bit closer because he was a big fan of Alice. Um, my mom and I liked other films, but like I, I gave Alice a chance and I actually really did love it. It was one of the first Disney films, actually I think it was the very first Disney film that I ever ended up purchasing for myself. Um, at Hollywood Video back in the day. Yeah, I remember Hollywood Video. Uh, I purchased it on VHS. It was like $9.99. And I like I couldn't believe I could I found it because I haven't I hadn't seen it anywhere. Um at the time, like Alice wasn't coming out like every couple of months. Like I feel like over the years Alice came out a lot on different editions. But back in the 90s, like you either had a lot of the Disney films or you didn't because they were first making their first runs on VHS. Right, and here they are doing their famous spin. We have the Queen of Hearts. Mr. Mad Hatter in his like bluish teacup right there. He's got some tea and he's got the teapot, of course. And then of course, Alice in her beautiful purple one. She was the OG, the first one that I got from Disneyland. Never forget that one, so, so dope. I just, I really do love these ones. I, of course, I do wish I had Cheshire as well to go with them. Like that is just a no brainer, but it's fine that I don't have Cheshire. I'm glad to have the ones that I do have. I truly do appreciate them. They are all so, so cute. Um, each and every one of these characters. I love the color of their little teacups, which again is why I wish I had Cheshire Cat because his was was yellow and I'm a fan of yellow. I, I, I like yellow. Yellow is a really cool color. Alice was at Disneyland. Both Hatter and the Queen were both Target exclusives. Uh, Hatter was part of the 65th celebration at Disneyland while uh, the Queen is part of the 50th for Walt Disney World. So super duper cool. Uh, Cheshire, I believe, was an Emerald City Con exclusive. I could be wrong about that, but was an exclusive somewhere. Um, back in I think March, April. So I'm gonna say Emerald City, but I, I'm not quite positive about that, but super duper cool. You guys, here she is back to center. Once again, she is the Queen of Hearts from Disney's Alice in Wonderland. You can get her from Target. I don't know if she's still gonna be available for you guys, but she should be possibly, if not sold out. I'm so sorry about that. Um, I did find her on eBay as well, going for a very similar price. So if you don't get her from Amazon, you can try to get her on eBay. Hopefully you'll get like a similar price there. I did see that they were like maybe, like, maybe at the most $10 more the ones that I saw. So, you know, give that a try if you can't find her at uh, Target. That would be really, really cool. Guys, thank you so much for all of your likes, your follow, subscribe. Thank you for sharing. If you are not subscribed to the channel yet, well, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for notifications. Leave me a nice big like on this video. Let's know you guys like all the work I'm coming up with. I will see you guys very, very soon. Once again, she's a Target exclusive, part of the 50 Years of Walt Disney World collection. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.